So if you're still on Windows 7 for whatever reason, being maybe you like it better than Windows 8 or the Windows 10 preview that recently came out, which I tried, I liked it quite a bit, but I went back to Windows 7 because um, there's no dependencies on online accounts or uh, Microsoft accounts. There's no like OneDrive bullcrap that they tie in with Windows 8 and 10 and probably all versions of Windows in the future. It's just, it just feels right. Even though there are some downfalls, it's, it's ugly for one thing. But it still performs very well. And uh, I'm going to show you how to make it look as well as it performs. So basically, it's going to go from this to this. Looks nice, right? Do is download 7-zip or anything that can extract a .7z file format. 7-zip uh, is just the standard, obviously, but if you have something else that will extract .7z, go for it. Doesn't matter. Use what you want. But after that, Download everything in the description. 7-Zip will also be in the description. Probably an annotation. Probably like here-ish. I don't know. But yeah. After you download everything and extract it all, first thing you're going to run <clears throat> is Universal Theme Patcher. Run it as administrator. Which is, that's, it's probably not going to work. That was my phone. It's probably not going to work if it's not administrator. <laughs> yes. And I've already patched mine. It, this button here, these three will be lit up like restore is here. So just click these three and it'll do its thing. Then you can close it. And there will be a backup, just in case. And after that, you can actually put the theme in the resource folder for Windows. So basically, install the theme. So go to this one. It'll be inside one of the folders you download. And say Windows 8 or 8.1 themes. Uh, I like the 8.1 lines theme. Uh, looks pretty good, in my opinion. What you're going to do is go to My Computer, Local Disk, Windows. If I'm going too fast, you can just rewind it a bit. Uh, resources, Themes, and this is where all the themes are in Windows. So you're just going to copy what is inside one of these folders, you have to go through all this in whichever folder you're using. So I'm going to use the 8.1 lines theme. So taskbar on bottom, start menu without user picture. That's just this. <clears throat> you can use the one with the user picture, but it's going to be the same ugly frame. Um, you can actually change that to be a like a flat UI square type thing but that's just more complex than I'd like to go into and uh, it doesn't really look good in my opinion anyways so without user picture and then you'll just copy these straight over here that's move but yeah I already did it as you can see <coughs> And after that, you can just go to Personalize, and then they'll be here. I don't know if you have to reboot after you patch those files or not. If this doesn't show up, just reboot, and they will. So choose whichever one you want, and boom. Now you have all of this. Uh, it's changed all these 
like stuff like this this is all different like it's not as uh, cheesy looking I guess but the start I mean, the start button is still the same next thing we're gonna do is change that so the Windows 7 start button changer what a creative name I'm gonna run that as administrator and when you click this it will automatically make a backup of this the original file and you're gonna open up this file which is also in the description it'll be compressed in a zip file I think so just extract it and this is the file that you use click open that'll flash it just closes explore and restarts it basically that's what it does that's pretty much it and it looks a lot better uh, everything as far as UI goes most everything is changed the progress bars the I don't know what you would call that uh, eh, whatever that is and the icons some of them are the same some are different yeah that's about it if you like the video if it helped like subscribe comment if you have questions I'll answer them do what you need to do that's all thank you